Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Guys, we're on the periphery of a spiritual war. It's a battlefield, okay? And we've got to understand a few things right now. Your enemy is tension. Your enemy is anxiety. And we've got to set up the flanks, the starships, so that we can get clear on eradicating that because that's slowing down our flow state, okay? If you are interested in this, if you resonate with that, first of all, shoot me a message right away, okay, on Instagram. Let's get to talking because I think this thing has gone on for far too long. This fight-or-flight, fear-based society needs to get transformed into a flow-based society, and I need your help for that. Okay. So, insecurities. Insecurities, I think they're like little spotlights, okay, into your own consciousness. You can't run away from them, you've got to face them, but ultimately, you've got to understand that it says something about you, right? You're insecure about something, a fragment or an inner conflict that is pulling it apart, and so it feels like an insecurity. Whereas it could be a treasure that you haven't really fully unraveled yet. It looks like a piece of dirt, but underneath is the Buddha inside. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, guys. So, an insecurity doesn't necessarily have to be bad. Okay, but it's in the way that you are writing the story that the insecurity seems bad. And you're also telling yourself insecurities because it's comfortable, right? It's easy to go there. It's really easy to point out our flaws and be like, yep, look, there, there's something wrong there. Oh, there's another thing that's wrong. Oh, I can better fix that. Right? It's just easy to go there. You know what's more challenging? To actually give yourself positive self-talk and rewrite the coding on this thing. You've got to tell yourself, I love being me. I love being me. I love being me. Okay, I love being me. And that's your security guard. Okay, you don't want an insecurity guard. You want a security guard. Because you trust in yourself. You know yourself and you trust yourself. That will disintegrate insecurity. The sooner you can actually accept that, the sooner we can get you moving towards the flow. That your flaws are there to help you in some way. Get you to see things from a different angle a different perspective and give you much more alliance with yourself. Now we're socially conditioned to look for things in a certain way like every single magazine advertisement is there to make you feel bad. You've got to know that. Okay? You've got to know that because they can't sell you if you're already fulfilled. They can't sell you. They can only sell to you if you're feeling some lack. Where right? you feel a sense of lack and they attribute these consumers' products to attach to a certain internal drive that you have. Like a feeling of loneliness gets attached to Facebook. So now whenever you feel a cue for loneliness in the mind, you go towards Facebook and you start messaging your friends. Okay? It's the cue. It's the cue in the mind that is already an internal drive. So now that we feel lust, we go to an adult site, right? It's, it's the cue. You've got to notice that. So the insecurity is the cue for a specific behavior that you might have. Where you might be acting out that insecurity in random ways that aren't serving you. But once you know that, that's when you can take one of the Jenga blocks out without it crumbling completely, right? That's when you can get really clear and specific on your goal. And then compartmentalize it. When you get rid of that pleaser syndrome, you know, you can finally understand that I'm not there to get this person to like me, I'm there to help them. Okay? Treat all your clients like this. Okay? Treat all your clients like this. I'm not there to get, get liked by you, I'm there to actually help you. There's a big difference. Okay? Now, of course, at some level you want to be likable, but it isn't like the main thing of like, oh, I have to impress them with my showy antics and my bizarre ad campaigns, right? And then the security within will get you feel 
pretty secure externally. And we're all insecure. You know what I mean? Like something can happen to me right now. A meteor shower could happen. And I could lose it just like that. You know what I mean? So we're all insecure. We're all on thin waters or whatever you want to call it. Right? We're all there. We're all like look, looking around like, man, I hope something bad doesn't happen. Does anybody else have this under control? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to sit back and be a bystander for a second. Okay. I mean, I'm just here to experience life anyway, you know, that's what consciousness is, just experience. So, you know, I might as well just sit here and not do anything, you know. I might as well just be a watcher, right? But recognize as well that you have a way that you can watch but also participate. That's when the game changes. You get to participate in this experience. It's interactive. That's right but you've been brainwashed to think you're all here by yourself alone. No one wants to be around me. Well, another barrier, holographic barrier around you. Well, what if they don't like me? Another barrier. You're doing this to yourself. You're doing this to yourself. You're, you're making yourself insecure. So when you can stop that and you can be like, okay, wait, hold on. And you get to the gap of the thought. That is where the emptiness resides. Go there with the silence and see what comes up. And at first it will feel like a storm, right, of random thoughts just trying to fight with each other. Contradictions within. The duality within, just tossing and turning. And the thing is, which is kind of, it's a negative loop, right? So if you're in a crappy state, you're going to notice more things that are crap in that state, and then you're going to stay there. So if you can actually find what is okay about that situation, what is, what is positive about it, right, in that one moment. Like in a video game, they give you like a last, like, uh, power-up or something like that, that you can use to escape the maze. Like that's what that is, that positivity. So you better use that in the video game. You better use that power-up. You know, and give yourself some hope. Give yourself some hope, even if it's blind hope. Give yourself something to escape the downward spiral. Take some action on that. Like, actually set something for yourself and do it. Man, you, once you have your purpose in mind, or your passion in mind, you know, and you just let go, you just let go, you're not attached to anything, but you're open to everything. That's the energy that people want to be around, okay? That's funny, right? It's like you don't have anything, you've let go, you you're not really attached to anything, but then people want to be around you the most. It's quite a paradox. And that person who accepts that experience of life, they've understood that they've accepted all of them. They've accepted all of their personality, holistically. They've accepted their insecurities as a part of that. But when we have insecurities for ourselves, our mind becomes like this magnifying glass, right, that zooms into it like wants to pick it apart it's like when you look in the mirror and you're like man that one blackhead you know that one pimple or whatever and you start zooming into it and now it's in your consciousness you can't stop thinking about it right so the thing is you you're going to have to embrace that thing and find something positive in that moment right it's like oh I have pimples well at least that reminds me I got a lot of testosterone too well, my nose is a little crooked. I'm here to change the definitions of beauty. I don't even care. This nose is sexy, right? This, this is the level of that. Like looking at yourself in the mirror, pointing at the flaw, and then reframing it immediately. Like practicing that. It's not going to happen one time. All right? This is a practice. This is a mental practice, okay? So every time that you see something negative about yourself, you acknowledge it, you embrace it, like, okay, this is it. But guess what? It makes me who I am. Okay, focus on things that you can change, not things you can't change. Right, if you are overweight and you can't change that, stop focusing on that. What can you change? Right, the response mechanism. Okay, focus on things you can change. And that's the thing as well, we perceive things that, oh, maybe I can't. And that's just a word. Right, so that's a trap too, notice that. It's an elaborate ruse, okay. Once you really notice this, guys, it's going to start to change you and how you 
have a relationship with your insecurity. Because that's going to change and evolve over time too. It's not going to be right where it's at. It's going to change. It's going to transform, right? So the first thing is the internal security that you feel within. Find a center. Everyone has their own center. You find yours, okay? It can be in one of your chakra points, right? It can be like in a specific area of your body. But find a center somewhere where you can rest, right? The lower Dantian is a nice point. I like that point. Or just rest, bend my knees, and just come to zero position. Like if you are about to pounce or attack, like that position, right? You just get into that and just stay there. The insecurity can be a huge part of the storyline, or it can be a very tiny thing, right? And you might have gotten offended because maybe your insecurity is you have a tiny thing. Well, guess what? This is not some superficial, like, contest, okay? This is real life. This is real life. So stop convincing yourself of your insecurities, okay? We're all insecure. Every single one of us, but we don't like to admit it. But guess what? We can actually take some leverage and find our internal cadence again. Your cadence, okay? Look up that word. It's going to help you. Cadence. Cadence. Okay? Cadence. Rhythm. Harmony. Cadence. Have an amazing day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. I'll see you next time. Boom.